last time on Races to Places, the team had a lovely homestay. <laughs> well, we fell on our feet again. Here we are in the house uh, of Mario and Fernanda. And they are the Husqvarna importer in El Salvador. And we are in San Salvador, the capital city now, in their home. Another classic example of how the moto community comes together. You know, we just bumped into them at the border um, between Guatemala and El Salvador. And here we are in their home. Okay, let's go up in the house. <laughs> This is, I think, the world's biggest pizza I've ever seen. <laughs> Ready for this? That's like two feet in diameter. <laughs> but thankfully, there's so many good people to help me eat it. <laughs> Look, we're getting, we're getting some drinks topped up now. <laughs> Only the best <laughs> room. 23 years old. Salud! It's a motorcycle. <laughs> I don't know many people that have a view of the city as spectacular as this outside of the backyard. So Come on. Ah, uh, nice Lucy. Alright, well we've had a few drinks now <laughs> and now it's time to start eating worms. Is it worms? Yeah. Okay. Mezcal worms. Mezcal. Yeah. Mezcal worms. I'm eating a worm. It tastes, tastes like a worm too. <laughs> I always wondered what a fish thought it was like to eat a maggot. And now yes. I think I know. Very expensive. So here we are leaving this uh, wonderful home. see is that the fixer on the left is basically getting the customs officer, the aduana, on the right with the white cap to complete the paperwork for the bikes. They've just checked the bins and everything and it's the process before we can go to the border. So I don't know if you can see the sweat dripping off my face, um, but in Spanish it is mucho calor, which means it's very hot. A lot hot. Hola. Muy bien. ¿Qué tal? I had a great night in El Salvador. I didn't expect that. I heard a few uh, not so great things about Honduras at the moment. An unstable place. Kind of battling to be the most dangerous country in the world with El Salvador at the moment, lots of corruption. We, we would have actually made it to the, the other side, the border today, to go straight through. But, but after nearly getting fleeced for $60 by the fixer, uh, which I didn't, I actually told him that he was trying to fleece us and it's not fair and you know, he shouldn't do it and he didn't like it. And we we're in no state to camp or you know to search around for somewhere to stay. So. The first, pretty much the first hotel we saw today, we just pulled in. It's We're just on the road to the border in um, Honduras to Nicaragua. <coughs> just on a nice twisty asphalt road, Tony's behind me. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to reintroduce Lucas Matzinger to the show. Lucas Matzinger. Good, how are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, good to see you. Well, they say with river crossings, it's always best to walk them first to check the depth before riding. 
these chaps will have legs longer than the height of the air intake on the bikes, so I don't think Lyndon and Tony can go off this. in Nicaragua. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. See Basil bike there behind me hanging out. We're just in the uh, Reserva Natural. Uh, so the nature reserve and uh, super peaceful here. Well you're a real pluker so every time we ride together you're slowing the show down. <laughs> I had a slight front puncture uh, just as you found me um, and I'm now changing it in the middle of a fire and pal. So I'm getting stung on the side of uh, I'm fixing my tire, which makes it even more fun, and it's about 35 degrees out, very humid, sweating. I look like I just yeah, you're a, a bit, shower. bit wet there. Yeah, no, that was not a shower. Um, but this was probably my fastest tire change in a long time because I keep getting bitten and I want to get it done. What do you think of the tracks that Google Maps leads us on, Lyndon? It's a little bit steep. <laughs> and a bit rocky, eh? What have you got there, Lucas? What is it? New tire? I think it's gonna be my tire. Is it a golden oh, tire? Yes, it's not see. Sidewall no, looks pretty not. stiff. Eh? <laughs> nice. Well, it looks like Lucas is having a few problems with his front rubber. Mikey tells me this is because he spent too much time down in Paradise City, where the grass is green and the girls are pretty, leading to a blowout of the rubber. Looks like there's some big rocks in there. Lynn, any famous last words before you sink yourself in a river crossing? You know how much we like doing river crossings. We do. Whenever we get together, we have to do some river crossings. Tony, why are you not going first? <laughs> Man. All right. I'm like a bit professional at this now, right? Let's do it. Those of you who've watched Races to Places from the start will remember that Mr. Matzinger loves to flood Patricia on the odd river crossing. Lucas, it's unlike you to not put on a spectacular I show. I know, my boots are dry. I think it's the first... Go and do it again and fall in. We are 
currently in Nicaragua, which is bordered by Honduras to the north, the Caribbean to the east, Costa Rica to the south, and the Pacific Ocean to the west. Managua is the country's capital, largest city. It's also the third largest city in South America. The main language is Spanish. However, native tribes on the Mosquito Coast speak their own indigenous languages and English. A beautiful trail in Nicaragua. A beautiful day, making good progress today. Oh. Not very fair. Lucas, what are you doing? Have you got another have you got another punch? <laughs> have you got another puncture? I don't know. I think the golden boy tire is not so golden anymore. Is that three today now? No, today only two. <laughs> three with yesterday, so three in a 24 hour period, yes, for sure. I'm funding my trip by renting out my pump. And your tubes, <laughs> and your spare yeah, tubes. Guys, it's just a small river crossing. It's just a small river crossing, I don't know what the problem is. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, let's do it guys. Is this our boat, this brown one? We have a bigger one. Really? I don't think Basil will like it in there. Well, the spectators are gathering for this epic river crossing. Tony's going first. Because this is the lightest bike, so I figured we'd give that a go. Sailing away That's Tony's bike across safely. Up next, it's Basil. It's not sketchy at all. Not at all. Dude, that fucking plank looks like it's about to snap. Okay. Bet Lyndon's butt cheeks are clenched here. However, it looks like the captain of this vessel is a seasoned pro. It seemed, seemed like it was went pretty smooth. How do you feel taking Patricia down to the river, Lucas? Down to the river? <laughs> the whole team across the river safely. Nice job. Putting the bikes back together now. Man, that was super sketchy. <laughs> and now it's dark, so we've got to go find somewhere to stay. But one river, three bikes. Well across. What do you think? It looks good? Good. It looks like a cop. <laughs> the cops? The police, man. It looks more like a cop to me. <laughs> Give me my bribe. Where's my bribe? Lyndon is getting the tools out for the ferry crossing. Quick service, new tube, new brake pads, new brake pin. Let's talk about bike names. <laughs> my bike's called Basil, and we all know why. It's named after my late grandfather. What shall it's called? It's temporarily called Patricia because Lincoln came up with that name. How long but it's only temporary because it's going to be rebuilt one day, and then it's going to be called the Phoenix because it's gone through so many iterations, and pretty much every part of the bike has been changed. So it's been reborn from the ashes and everything else. Next time on Races to Places, it's into Panama City.